As a kid, you think firefighters, all they do is put out fires all day. It's definitely not the situation. It's more of a training and being prepared for those chaotic situations such as vehicle rescues, building fires, things of that nature. It's a lot of training, prep work, and being prepared for that and building your skills to be prepared for those events. Honestly, I thought the fire department in Abington as a whole, as well as Weldon, was a paid service. I never knew it was it's volunteer because I'm not native to Abington. Abington Township Fire Department is one of the only volunteer fire departments that has the, the, the state accreditation. So we meet the highest of standards of any volunteer fire department around. Uh, we are able to do a completely volunteer department that saves the taxpayers a substantial amount of money with the man hours that the volunteers put in the community. For some fire departments, they do uh, like shift work um, where you stay within the station, you volunteer for a certain amount of time every week or every month or whatever it is. For Abingdon Township Fire Department, you just respond when there's a call. Um, we have our scheduled meetings, scheduled trainings, and things like that. Um, but as for a schedule for fighting fires, um, it doesn't exist, and that's part of the excitement of it. The community is diverse for firefighters because we have pretty much every aspect. We have single family dwellings, twins, townhomes, high rises. It's not flat, so there is some terrain to it, which has some, some rescue aspect to it. Uh, there's thoroughfares, there's back roads, wooded areas. So it's, you kind of can incorporate everything that you learned uh, in the fire service kind of in this one area. You don't see that too much around the area where you have five companies in one township. And when we get out, hit out for like a working fire, I mean, usually all five companies go to work and you know, they, we work very well together. There's a lot of communication between the five chiefs and you know, all five companies work together. We get along very well with our police departments and our EMS. We train all year round. We don't stop. It's normally weekly per company. So you normally start with FF1, which is Firefighter 1, which basically gives you an introduction to firefighting. Um, in our particular township, that allows basically uh, the fundamentals to, you know, basically be able to ride the truck to go into a burning building and get signed off by your chief. We learned here that you know if you learn something, learning it once isn't good enough. You have to be able to, to, to perform that task um, under pressure, maybe um, at, a, at a time of day where you're not like on your, your toes. So kind of just, just practice, practice, practice. And it's something that, that we, we basically preach in the fire department here. No matter what training you can think of, it pretty much can be done at our training facility. We have special operation training prop that's actually pretty cool. We have our building that we can burn in um, gives us options that we can go up to a third floor. It's just a great place to be. The fire departments are awesome. We all work together. We have uh, a close-knit family kind of in-house as well as you know guys from different departments, you know, and, and everybody kind of gets along. And even if you don't know people, just when the departments come together, you, you pull up to a, an incident, everybody's kind of working as, a, as one team. It's like a social club. You come in here, you meet all kinds of new people, great people, and you really look forward to coming down to the firehouse. So when junior firefighters uh, sign up, they do have uh, a lot of commitment for somebody who is 16 or 17 years old, and there are parents that are kind of hesitant about letting their, their child um, become a firefighter. The more time the kid gives, um, the more the parents are a little bit more comfortable with the guys. Uh, we welcome parents to come down here, ask us questions, uh, see how we're doing, see how we're keeping their child safe. They're, they're welcome to look at the training, you know, all the safety procedures that we set forth um, that will guarantee that their, their child is, is, is doing the job as safely as possible. It's a great community. Um, it's very diverse. There's a lot of things to offer for families. Um, there's a lot of day camps. There's a lot of soccer camps. There's a lot to offer here. Our chief does drills with the children. Um, we have handouts for the family. Um, we just try to make it interesting for the kids. It builds responsibility, structure, uh, a sense of pride. I wouldn't be where I was at in my life if I didn't have people that helped me. So this is my way of kind of giving back to that. I mean, I'm blessed to be in a very good situation uh, with my family, and this helps you know other people potentially be in that same situation. Uh, you never know who you're going to find. I mean, I found my husband firefighting. Um, it's it's a very nice place to be, and it's nice to meet different people and see how everybody trains.